Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. This is Rashmi Hirani and I'm a travel blogger and currently I'm in Istanbul and I'm standing right near Hagia Sophia which you can see in the background and that side is the Blue Mosque. So currently I'm going into the Hagia Sophia. Currently I'm in Hagia Sophia. So this place used to be a church and then it was converted to a mosque by Ottoman Empire and now this is a museum. As you can see there are a lot of tourists here. It's just 9.30 a.m. and this place opens up at 9 a.m. and within 30 minutes it's jam-packed and unfortunately there's also some construction going on which is in the back. So as you can see half of the mosque is under construction. Currently I am standing in front of the Blue Mosque and the timings for Blue Mosque are 8.30 to 12 p.m. and it is closed after that for prayers and it opens up again later in the afternoon. So if you're planning to come here, make sure you come before 12 noon or come after 2.33 to see this mosque. Also to enter this mosque, girls have to wear a scarf and they also gave me a skirt to wear so just to keep in mind that girls have to cover their head. So I'm entering right now. It's really really pretty here and yeah, let's go and check it out. This is the exit for the Blue Mosque. This mosque is really beautiful and the paintings and carvings are just marvelous. And this place is definitely a must to do while you're in Istanbul. So currently I'm standing near Galata Tower and look at the queue here. There are like hundreds of people standing in the queue. So I'm just gonna watch it and take a selfie and leave. So right now 
Bath neighborhood. But the colorful houses which you see are really famous here. This is not a tourist place. This is like one of the off beaten paths. But definitely worth coming here if you want to go away from touristy places and come to see the local side of Istanbul. This is the place. This is one of the oldest neighborhood of Istanbul. The street is named as Kermit. The street is really pretty. going to Asia side and this is a ferry which is part of Istanbul Metro and it costed about three to five lira I'm not sure but you can use the same Metro card which you use for the tram in Istanbul and this is actually gonna take you to the Asia side so I'm really excited this is the only country in the world which is in two continents One chocolate cheese. One, one chocolate cheese. Okay, mix. Can mix. Yeah, mix. Can okay. we take a video? Okay, no problem. No problem. Thank you. How was it? Yes, it be. How much money? Uh, we will promote. <laughs> yes. We will ask people who are visiting. Six lira. Six lira only. Six my name, my name is Taut. Taut. Daud. Daud. Please come Daud. to Daud. 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 So after exploring Topakapi Palace, I am trying Simit. This is a Turkish famous bun. So let's see how it tastes. Mmm. It's delicious. So after trying Simit, I'm heading to Grand Bazaar to eat more authentic Turkish street food. And it's in walking distance from Chopkapi Palace. It's about 10 minutes from there. And you will see signs everywhere on the street for the Grand Bazaar and all the attractions in the city. So currently I'm in Grand Bazaar and I'm standing by the entrance of Grand Bazaar. This is definitely a must to do while you're in Istanbul.
currently I am standing in Topkapi Palace. Topkapi Palace is very close from Hagia Sophia. It's about 10 minutes walk from there. And the entrance fee for Hagia Sophia at Topkapi Palace was 162 liters with a museum pass. Turkish chai is very good, but it's a little bit cold. How did you feel about Istanbul? Istanbul was just wow, wonderful. Hello. How are you? I'm from Mangalore, Adnan. Bulri. I'm from US, California. I've come all the way from Mangalore to Oman and from Oman to Istanbul. <laughs> so here we are. 